We use Open Mind uh, Hypermill CAD system, uh, the new version that I've got out now. We bought it on the back of buying this machine. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really, really good. We've got a few lads trained up now. Uh, and it just gives us a bit of an advantage. Everyone now is looking for cost savings uh, and you know where you can get big cost savings is reducing your programming time, so taking the programming off the machine tool and doing it offline so the machine tool can be running. And then also you know, with CAD CAM you can do a lot more with the parks, you can really visualise what you're doing uh, and then you can really you know, start to not, not quite huge, huge lumps out of your cycle times. We kind of narrowed it down to three main ones, um, but certainly what shone out for Hypermill was it's full simultaneous capabilities. We felt just slightly picked the other two options and that the out of the box package did a lot of what the other two packages wanted to charge as extra bolt-ons. So that, that was quite important for us. Surface finish, a massive factor. This has got to look good. How do you achieve that? We use um, Hypermill by Open Minds. Um, everything we programmed has been optimized and scrutinized for the machine to output the best possible uh, cut path for the situation. And you couldn't do that without CAD CAM software, could you? No, not at all. Uh, something like that, there's probably about 40 hours programming time and uh, something like that. There's a lot of uh, complicated five axis moves due to the deep pockets and the long tools. They actually made the parts, they had the, the time it took to make the part, the time it took to um, program the part, and then the quality of the part. And so they're taking those three things into consideration. That's how they chose the, the software, and that's how they chose Hypermill. So it's our max machining strategies, which uh, is a combination of roughing, drilling, and finishing. So the roughing is using a combination of trachoidal milling and what we call adapted pocket. Um, and then we've got the helical drilling, which is for fast removal of the material in deep pockets. And then for the finishing, using barrel tools, so tools with a very large radius on the side of the tool, for very quick machining of areas that traditionally you would, you would finish with a ball nose. How long would it take you to program something like this and do you use the Hypermill max machining strategies? Yeah, I mean a part like this, it would take slightly less than the previous part. There's actually more tool parts on this than what you would generate on the previous one. Um, but that would take something in the region of 10 hours and we do use the max machining for all the roughing cycles on this. The toroidal um, roughing cycles are very, very good. I can rough a component out a lot, lot quicker than I used to be able to. Yeah, I mean this type, this sort of uh, job, I'd probably spend uh, about maybe 10 hours programming this one, just making sure I've got everything right. Um, sometimes it can be a lot quicker, just depending on you know the detail of the part, um, but there may be more detail on some parts than others. So looking at this, uh, with the fixtures that need to be made and programmed too, um, oh yeah, I'd say probably about 10 hours I could do that in. It makes our life a lot easier. We've got a lot more consistency with the parts because we're not multi-opping them. It's coming off complete and we feel it just gives us a lot better quality of product. Um, as you've probably heard, we're looking at about a three minute um, machine cycle. The programming times typically for this would be around six minutes. Six minutes? What six to minutes. program that? Yeah, yeah. It's simply as, as simple as selecting the template that suits that style of part. It'd be phenomenally difficult given the complexity of some of these parts, uh, simple programs, you know, a simple square with four holes, a diameter, a radius, those sorts of things. We've got a uh, capability to be able to program that at the machine and, and produce a simple component like that. But when you're getting into much more intricate components, you really need something like Hypermill to give you the, uh, you know, to find a way through that uh, successfully. Hypermill is very, very easy to pick up. Um, you can get a tool path down in seconds, especially a roughing tool path. There are then options that you can develop that tool path into uh, a stronger strategy if so required. So it's a combination of their location we knew because it was something new to, to the business and, and new staff that we needed the support and they're only in Vista up the road and also it came on recommendation uh, while we were acquiring other machines from, from Mazak. It's difficult to find any issues with it because it is so good. We've got a, a suite of hypermill posts for all our machines so our Fanex and our Hyder Haynes Previously, to change from one machine to the other used to be quite extensive changes, but now, because we've had the post tailored by Open Mind to do exactly what we want, we can change from one machine rapidly to another. As long as the job's been programmed in Hypermill, there's no issues. Hypermill's changed the way we work in the fact that we can now deal with customers with complicated parts, complicated drawings, um, swept surfaces for tool and moulds, um, plastic moulds. And the finish we're now finding with a, a more complex software is far better than simple 2D machining. When we get into part that's complicated, um, obviously with the time it takes on the machine, 
you want to have some faith that it's right before it goes on the table. So the previous software, the simulation and collision detection was not really at the level we needed, whereas Hypermill, we've got the full cab model of the machine. And so far, touch wood, if the software says it's good, it's been perfect every time, so we just need that faith. Well, basically, we use OpenMind uh, software to machine these grooves in here. So what we've done is we use an 8mm tool to get in, first of all, to do the opening cut. Then we use a smaller end mill, 6mm, to get down, finish off the base level. Then the sides here, they're angled, so we use the tapered end mill to produce the sides using the Swarf strategy in open mind, which made the gear quick to produce. I think it was taking round about six minutes to do one slot, which about 30 minutes to do the whole component. It's very easy to use and fast to program with. Uh, How long have you been using it? I've been using it for nine years now, so um, you know, know the software quite well and never really had any issues with it, to be honest. The advantage of Hypermill is that I've got every, all the tool path strategies at my fingertips and it does exactly what I want it to do. When I go and program on my computer, I come down here and, it, and the machine does exactly what I want it to do. Um, so this particular one in front of us, uh, because we did design this in-house, there was probably circa 100 hours to design it. Probably a similar number for programming. Um, again, this is why we went with Hypermill, because the calculation times are so much reduced over the previous software when you get into big complex parts. So I would expect Hypermill would be less than half that amount of programming time. 